welcome to another edition of Hidden in the Universal Vault. I'm Ron, your host, and I'm welcoming you to my review, which is a it's a thriller, and this was released uh, by Universal Studios, a long working title, and this stars Nicole Kidman, Sean Penn, directed by Sidney Pollack, 2004's The Interrupter, or 2005's The Interrupter. I'm not sure what, what year this movie was made. The DVD says 2004, but the Wikipedia, Wikipedia page says 2005. So probably going to say this is 2005. I'm just going to say it's 2005 for sake of this video. But anyways, this stars Nicole Kidman and Sean Penn. This also has Catherine Keener, and it focused on, and it focused basically on Sean Penn. He's like a Secret Service man. He's known as the Interrupter, and he basically. He basically, Nicole Kim plays this translator, and he basically, his job is he's a Secret Service guy, along with Catherine Keener, who, I love Catherine Keener. So, so basically, he's trying to sort of like, sort of like protect these people. Uh, it takes place sort of at the United Nations. The whole movie is shot in the United Nations, and... This also stars Sidney Pollock as well, and he's like the main, he's like the main, uh, he's like Sean Penn's boss in the movie, and it's sort, it's a thriller, but it's sort of like a cat and mouse type story, where you don't really know where it is. It start the movie starts out in this other country, um, where they got killed by these sort of terrorists, I think they're terrorists? Maybe they work for a sort of like government or something. And and Nicole Kidman is a translator, so she's at the United Nations. She's sort of like the English translator. And he basically, they're trying to protect this guy. So, yeah, um, it's, it's okay. It, it, it was confusing. It, it's sort of confusing at times. And, yeah, it can be confusing, but, yeah, um, I'm going to try to read what the back says, right? Yeah, but yeah, Penn plays Tobin Keller. Yeah, see, I'm going to kind of read what the back says right here, because I kind of was confused while watching this. The interpreter basically, it says here that in one of the hidden condors of power at the United Nations headquarters, translator Sylvia Br Brommer? I think I'm pronouncing that's Kidman's character. Overheard a political ex explosion secret about yeah, planning an assassination attempt. Yeah, now now I get it, now I get. It. But a federal agent Tobin Keller investigates her claim and digs into Sylvania's dangerous past. He begins questioning whether or not she is the victim or suspect. So that's that's the gist of what the DVD says in the back. I have no earthly clue what the movie really is trying to be. Is it a thriller? Is it an action film? At times, I, I kind of like the cinematography at times. I think it's really good. There's some really good action. I love Catherine Keener. Catherine Keener plays his assistant. She's also trying to figure out what is really going on. And without really giving much away, it's... It's a it's a decent watch. It's really hard. See, Sidney Pollock to me as a director has a sort of different style of of his movies. He's no Ang Lee with the pacing problems. I think his pacing is very smooth. Sidney Pollock also also acts in this as well. So he plays the assistant and I'm trying to think what else. Um. There's there's some emotional scenes where Penn gets on Kidman's case about why you didn't help those people. There's a scene where the where they know they're that that the bus is gonna get blown up. So they don't really know what what to expect. Um what to really expect is is it gonna happen? Three seconds in, the bus explodes. And she somehow happens to survive this, so Near the end of the film, they're trying to figure, sort of like figure this um, piece together, what's going on, and really, 
honestly, you just had to watch the movie because if I really go in depth into it, you're going to be confused. And this movie is extremely confusing. I don't know, but it, it's solid. I, I was entertained. I, I don't want to say I was bored with the movie, but I just... There, there were things that could have, like, picked up the pace a little bit. And, yeah, that's really the gist of what this is. What, basically, what the interrupter is really trying to be. Now, mind you, I'm probably, like I said, I probably was too tired to really even sit through. This movie really, yeah, this is a two-hour and 90-minute film. It should not be this long. At times, although the ending is a very solid not going to give you the outcome of the ending, but for a two hour and nine minute, I was really expecting a little shorter. And that's really my only negative with this movie that I watched another movie that had about the same amount of hours, uh, Ray. And I thought that movie went by a little bit more fast than Interrupter. But you're going to have to just stick with the film. I think you might like this a little more. So. That's all I have to say about the interrupter. So, yeah. Um, in terms of special features, there's an on and ending and deleted scenes. I did watch the on and ending, and the on and ending isn't anything too special. Cindy Pollock at work from concept to cutting cutting room. Interrupter, pan and scan versus widescreen. I did watch that special feature, and honestly, to be to be honest. I did watch this movie full screen, and I gotta be honest, the full screen never bothered me. Full screen movies don't really bother me, to be honest. A lot of people don't like it. There's like, oh, you gotta have the movie widescreen, it's, it's a cinematic experience. No, I'm fine with full screen. Honestly, it doesn't bother me. The ultimate movie set, the United Nations. This whole movie shot in the United Nations, so I, I do I do like that. And A Day in Life with the real... Uh, interrupters. And yeah, that's really what they are. Interrupters are just secret service men. So, yeah, and yeah, that's all I really have to say about, about the special features. Oh, you also get a feature commentary as well with Cindy Pollock. So he does a commentary on it. So, that's all I have to say really about interrupters. So, yeah. So, final verdict. Should you see the interrupter? And... Um, maybe. Honestly, this is this is where I usually say it's just a maybe. If you are really interested in checking the film out, I guess check it out. But personally, me, it's just a maybe. So, maybe you might want to check it out. Maybe you might not want to check it out. It's, it's really, really up to you. It's really up to you whether you want to watch The Interrupter or not. I'm not going to tell you that this is a this is a great movie because it's not a great movie this is not a great movie this is not a good movie it's just okay I put it more in the okay category I feel like this is gonna this right here would be okay keep but honestly I was hoping that it was a little bit shorter but for a two hour movie I expected a little more meat to the movie in my opinion Trying to think if there's anything else I could say about this movie. Is there any scenes that I will say that really I thought were good? I guess Penn and Kid Kidman are very good in their roles. I, I really like Penn's character. He's one of those that stresses out a little more and his, his, his job is very stressful. Being a Secret Service agent can be very stressful for what this is. But I think the idea... There's also times where she's getting chased by home invaders, the masked men that come into the house. So that's also another scene. I'm trying to really think of anything else I could say about the interrupter that I've already mentioned in the movie. So, um, yeah, that's all I have to say about the film. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching my review of the, of the interrupter. If you do like what I do, like what I do on the content. Like, comment, subscribe, click subscribe, click the bell, ring the bell, do everything that you do everything that YouTube uh, does. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and call that night. And yeah, 
And as always, keep watching those Universal movies. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.